Hi, my name is Noelle Charles and we're gonna get ready together today. I am shooting a couple of videos later this afternoon and so I'm gonna take you through what is usually my simple, pretty quick, on tour, kind of in a rush, glam uh, for performances. So here we go. So I've already cleansed my skin um, and what I usually like to do is I like to do my brows first um, because then I'm not fighting with the oil um, that I put on as kind of like a, a, a base. So I like to do my brows first, so I'm just gonna uh, use my mirror here. Um, so I am currently celebrating my brand, the release of my new EP called Blissful Madness, which I'm really excited about. Uh, this EP has three, this doesn't seem to work. Um, this EP has three songs on it, uh, Space, Nerve, and More By The Minute. And it was, I started the process of kind of recording and writing these songs before the pandemic, so like late, 20, late 2019. And in the early January, February, you know, I started recording vocals for them. Um, but as you know, everything kind of uh, hit a standstill. <laughs> the world kind of stopped and so did uh, the project. So what was supposed to be a full length album ended up being um, three songs and you kind of just go with the flow and do what you can in the midst of situations like this because everyone's going through them. It's not just you. And so, you know, I learned a lot about myself and about persevering and you know it's not the most important thing in the world to put out music during uh, such a time but it kind of also is something that people lean on when they're going through you know times of trouble is they want something to comfort them and something to give them hope and or take their mind off of what's going on and so if I can be a part of that you know in a small way then I'm, I'm really grateful. So for my brows, uh, I like to kind of go in and create a shape. Uh, if I didn't maintain them, I would have one right across the forehead. <laughs> I literally would. Um, but you know, it is what it is. You kind of just work with what you're, uh, you're given in life. Just see. And sometimes you fight to make them similar. I actually heard um, they're not supposed to be twins, they're supposed to be sisters. But sometimes they'll settle for cousins because sometimes they're just not anything alike. Um, so I'll try to get them as close as possible. And like, usually when I'm doing performances, I have a professional makeup artist on set and they'll help me uh, do this and, you know, work their magic. But when I'm like in these kinds of situations at home or like on, on the road, on tour, I don't have that much time to prepare, um, even though I wish I did. And so we just kind of go with, go with it. Um, it is what it is. So my face, currently I did lotion and, and serum and you know treated it, but I like to go in with a little bit of face oil because I find this helps set my concealer. Well, it helps it so that it's not super um, cakey like. And so I like this, but I like doing this before I do the or after I do my brows because then my brows won't my brows won't stick and I'll probably fix those too because I don't I don't really know but we're just gonna we're just gonna keep going okay um so after I do that I kind of just like let it set in um so yeah so for my EP I put out the first single in February and I put out a music video that I shot in my apartment it was a very experimental thing I did it all by myself um with the help of my friend Tafari, who helped with some of the movement shots. I filmed it on my phone. I 
had the one light. I did like a whole set with a projector and it ended up being so good. A lot of people were impressed. I was impressed. Um, and yeah, it's just sometimes you don't know the creativeness that you have within yourself until you have to kind of do it. Um, and so, yeah, if you want to go check it out, it's online. Uh, but next step that we're going to do is I go in with a concealer. I don't really put on foundation uh, anymore as much. I think I do when I'm on set and I have a professional makeup artist. Um, but I just, I'd rather just go in and, especially because my skin as I've gotten older has become better, which is kind of funny. Um, but I don't have, you know, as many blemishes to cover. And it's actually made me want to show off a bit. Not show off, but I want my skin to breathe, if that makes sense. So I just go in with um, my concealer, you know, in the, in the spots. And then I just blend it in. Use my little blender, and I'm going to blend it in. And this just allows me to cover what I need to cover. Um, I'm showing you because it's like this, because this is how I would do it on the road. I would literally have a mirror in my case if I don't have, if there's no like dressing room for just females, because in most venues there aren't, <laughs> if we're honest. Um, it's kind of like, here's your room, share it with the entire band. Um, unless you're in arenas, I guess, and then at that level you have like multiple rooms, but we are not there yet. <laughs> so this is what I would do, is just like blend it in and just really try to even it all out and then I, you know, on my eyelids a bit just so that when it comes to the eyeshadow, it's, uh, it sets. And I actually, when I was in, well, in college, when I was younger, I had an accident and I fell. I was longboarding down a hill and I ended up hitting some gravel and I fell and I slid backwards and I hit my nose and I have like a, a lasting scar that uh, I just kind of try to go over. Um, I guess I could do get some cosmetic stuff done to it, but I don't like needles, so we're just gonna let that be. You know, your flaws make you who you are. Um, so then after I do that, I like to set with powder. I don't really know if this does much, except for me, I have a lot of oily skin naturally, so this helps to kind of like dry it out and let the foundation or not the foundation, but the concealer stick and not slide off when I'm sweating. And so that's kind of what this is. And I will say, don't come for me in the comments because I'm not a professional. And I don't even let it sit for too long, you know, like I kind of just like put it on and then lightly brush it off. And then, you know, it kind of helps it all out and make it look like skin so then from there I like to go in with my favorite of all time and so for the powder I did use the Anastasia Beverly Hills banana loose setting powder um, and then I also am using for the brows was Anastasia Beverly Hills as well um, next for the face, I love to go in with the MAC Global Glow Skin Finish. Um, this is my favorite of all time. Um, so this kind of gives me like the bronzer kind of look, highlights like a sun-kissed beach glow. Um, my skin is pretty fair, but when I... Uh, I used to live in the Bahamas and I was so tanned uh, in high school. I was so brown, but then I kind of learned the effects of uh, the, what the sun does and sun damage. And 
I was like, I'm not about that life. And so I started retreating a bit more and started really taking care of the skin. And so I rarely like sunbathe or suntan, even though like I would love to, it's just not, you know, maybe one day, but I'll have like SPF 500 on. <laughs> so next I go in with the uh, matte, skin finish soft and gentle so this is the next for a highlighter just to kind of like pop out the parts where the light's gonna hit on the nose here here yeah. so after i put on the global glow and the highlighter sometimes i like to go in with a little bit of blush and this is mac as well warm soul mineralized blush um and i usually I was never really a big blush person because I felt like I would just uh, kind of look like a clown, but <laughs> this one's pretty subtle and it kind of just helps pop up those cheeks, if you know what I mean. Um, so with the EP, you know, it's there are three songs, but they're three pretty different sounding songs, which um, they all live in the same world. But you have one that's a bit more you know moody in the dark you have one that's a bit more funk and soul and you have one that's just like driving with your window down you know road trip kind of soul smooth vibes um which i love and you know the goal for each thing that i have ever put out is just to make it better than the last thing and you know i do think this is the best music i've put out so far and i'm just excited to continue that journey and making better and better music. Um, so after I put on that, I will go in with my eyes. My eyes are pretty simple. So that pretty covers it for the face. It's pretty simple. Um, I go in with uh, MAC. So this is the Dusty Dusky Rose Times 9 eyeshadow palette. You know, when you're on the road, you don't really have time uh, or you don't have space to carry a lot of stuff. So if you can condense stuff to palettes, um, then you're golden. So this has been one of my favorite ones. It's very loved. <laughs> Some of the pots are empty. Um, so I usually just go in with the base. Uh, then I'll go in with kind of like the highlighter for the brow and the corners. With lockdown, there aren't, a, there haven't been anyway, a lot of instances of where I've had to um, put myself together. So it's really nice to do, uh, you know, any, anytime I have a project to do or like have to film something to really just, it feels like you've accomplished something for the day. Um, so then there's that. So then after I go in with my liner, my staple is basically like a cat eye, so I use the MAC uh, Brush Black Brush Stroke Liner Eye Liquid Liner. Um, this has basically been my favorite, um, just because of the tip. It's very, I don't know if you can see it, it's very pointed and it allows me to get a good shape. Uh, I don't know if I could do this like this, so I might just like, oh, let's see. okay, we'll try, okay. Don't breathe, otherwise you'll mess up the shape. Um, have you ever seen those memes of like, <laughs> where they try to put on liner and it just ends up taking up their entire face? That's how I feel sometimes. You correct and correct and correct until it's overcorrected and then so yeah if you're in like my ep has been out for about a week and a half now and you can find it wherever you listen to music online um and i'm just excited for people to hear kind of this little chapter in my musical story and I'm excited to be working on new music and just continually getting better, which has kind of just been my my own secret little motto, which is, you know, keep working, keep working, keep working, and 
push yourself to do the best that you can. So that's okay. I Then I'm going to go put on my lashes and I'll be right back. And we're back. So I put on my lashes and kind of just touched up my, my liner and my brows. Um, I usually always try to find some mirror, like a big mirror that I can get real close to. Um, whatever and whatever venue I'm at but this is usually how it is and you know I got my hair in and so now I'd be ready to either you know do my interview or performance or whatever and right now it's at home so that's usually where it is um, usually I would have full glam like proper with a makeup artist um, which I always love because I love learning from them I always love learning their techniques and how they do things because I don't know. <laughs> so this is kind of where we're at and uh, you know, it's super easy, super quick and I'm just loving it. And usually I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the lipsticks because they either end up all over the microphone or all over my face. So I'll go in with a, a, a nice gloss. And this has been my favorite Fenty Beauty uh, gloss bomb. Definitely one that I keep with me uh, wherever I go on my travels. It's just super easy and super pretty. So yeah, thanks so much for getting ready with me. My name is Nuella Charles and hopefully you can check out my new EP, Blissful Madness, wherever you stream music. Thanks so much. Bye.